All right, here we go. Colorado. Colorado. I know we got a lot of Colorado chatters. I'm not going to dox you. We got some Colorado State University data theft. Honestly, guys, remember we just looked at... uh, Jeez, what was it? Was it Delaware? Can somebody correct me? Was it Delaware? Oh, no, Connecticut. University of Connecticut. Remember University of Connecticut got hacked by the gay furry hackers? And the gay furry hackers um, put out... They put out, like, a fake death statement. <laughs> They put out a fake death statement for, like, the provost of the university or something like that. Or, like, the president of the university. It was a long one, too, and it was very convincing. Those gay furry hackers, man. <laughs> Colorado State University says data breach impacts students, staff. Built a has. Colorado State University, XU, oh, has clop. confirmed that the oh Quirk and Summer operation stole sensitive personal information of current and former students and employees during the recent Move 8 transfer data theft attacks. Colorado State University is a public research university with nearly 28,000 students and 6,000 academic and administrative staff members, operating on an endowment of $558 million. The university informed its students and staff on July 12, 2023, that the threat actors have gained access to the personal data of staff and students through these attacks. Okay, so law offices, doctor's offices, um, healthcare providers, anyone who's transferring large amounts of documents, um, government agencies, they all use something like MoveIt. If they're not using MoveIt, they use something like MoveIt. They were using Excellium, they were using this or that. When these things get popped by Klopp, Klopp does huge campaigns. They attack universities. They attack everybody. So, um, this is just an extension of what Klopp's already been doing. The university informed its students and staff on July the 12th, 2023, that the threat actors have gained access to the personal data of staff and students through these attacks. Although the actual extent and impact of the data breach is still being evaluated, XU has provided the following statement on a web page dedicated to the cyber incident. Some data about prospective, current, and former XU students and current and former employees maintained by the affected vendors contains personally identifiable information, which may include first name, middle initial, last name, date of birth, student or employee identification numbers, social security number, and demographic information such as gender, ethnicity, and level and area of education. which may include first name. The university says that the stolen data is from as far back as 2021, possibly earlier, meaning that graduates may have been impacted. The The leak of this data is not the result of a direct breach of any systems operated or maintained by XU, but rather a compromise of the university's service vendors, TR, Nash, National Student Clearinghouse, Corbridge. National Student Clearinghouse, Corbridge Financial, Dinworth Financial, Sunliff, and the Hartford. All of these providers utilize the Move 8 Transfer Security File Transfer Platform, which was breached in a wave of data theft attacks in May 2023. XU says the above entities offer services to many universities across the United States, so other educational institutes may soon publish similar disclosures. Thank you. So I told you guys before that when you adopt a vendor, when you bring in a, a new package, when you bring in some open source, when you when you start to, you know, bring in other components to fill your gaps, you are adopting a fuck ton of third party risk that you're probably not aware of. Um, and the, remember, OK, here we go. UK government vendor breached. UK government views on supply chain. Oh, two days ago. You know why? You know why? Because move it. Had, okay, what was this place? Uh, Capita. 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 Okay, so Capita um, provides a ton of services to the US government and they use a ton of outsourcing services. 65 billion pounds in annual contracts. 
crippled by IT issue, they say here. Um, sorry, forgive the language. Um, multi-million dollar contracts with UK government agencies, right? This was a huge data breach. Tons of UK um, citizen data out there forever, forever and ever and ever. There's no way you're getting it back. There's no way you're getting it off. Um, and these vendors, the intimate inner working of these vendors and their relationships and their emails, everything. Thank you, Brumbo, for liking and re-skeeting. And thank you, um, Brumbo and Dissoch, for liking my tweet. All right, let's continue. So, yeah, obviously, when you're adopting a ton of third-party risk, you should have some sort of analysis of vendors. You should have analysis of the third-party um, libraries that you're bringing in, the open-source components that you're utilizing, the frameworks that you're utilizing. You should be running thorough security engagements, thorough risk acceptance if you're going to accept these risks. And you should be documenting the risks associated with the technology that you're adopting, and you should be coming back to it and visiting it at a later date instead of just set and forget and like never bother with it again. You should be scanning the versions of the open source packages that you're using. You should be uh, analyzing their code base, I would go as far as to say. I know, I know that's hard, but that's why you need to hire people who can look at code and find issues. Sue says the above entities offer services. Yeah, everyone's going to come out. Since then. Everyone's coming out. Look, look, Harvard got breached. The UCs, California, right? There was one in California that got breached and had a ton of data like leaked. Come on. Come on, bro. Everybody. It's only a matter of time. It's everybody. Since then. University Stony of Delaware. University. That was the one. That was the one with, with the death threat. I mean, not the death threats. Here. University president death hoax. These were our gay furry hacker friends. The gay furry hackers um, breached the University of Connecticut. I don't know why they decided to do this, but um, here they are, Siege Sec, our homies. I don't know why they decided to do this, but I'm sure they had a good reason. I'm pretty sure this person was saying some anti-trans shit or some anti-abortion shit. Um, because that Siege Sec is a political hacktivist group. From my perspective, from my understanding of them, and the fact that they came here and said some really base shit... Um, I'm pretty sure they're a political hacktivist group. Hacking government systems, higher education, claim responsibility for hacking several government state websites because of anti-trans legislation being passed. They're a political hacktivist group. Since then, Stony Brook University, the University of Delaware, and the Western University of Health Sciences have posted data breach notices relating to the compromise of DR, NSC, and Corbridge Financial. Right now, Xu is carrying out an internal investigation with the help of forensic experts to determine which records and individuals have been impacted by the incident and will send out individual notification letters to those people containing additional resources and protection guidance. Meanwhile, all Xu community members are advised to remain vigilant and report suspected identity theft incidents to the university and law enforcement authorities. Currently, no identity theft protection service coverage is offered to XU members, who are recommended to follow the advice FTC published here. Okay. No identity protection. No credit monitoring? No, I'm not stacking credit monitoring. You, like, honestly, you have to do more. You have to do more. Just giving people credit monitoring, two years of credit monitoring is not enough. What up, Reading Rap? How you doing? Um, it's not enough, bro. It's not enough. Yo, guys, drop your favorite lefty YouTubers in the comments right now so that Read and Rap can add them to the uh, playlist. Drop them YouTubers. Things that we should watch after the cybercrime news. Drop them in. Drop them in. I know we got some base motherfuckers. Don't be shy. I see y'all lurking. I know we got some base motherfuckers in here. Come on, give me, give me your favorite YouTuber. Your favorite YouTuber. I don't watch YouTube. I only watch what you guys tell me to watch. I only watch what... Like, I don't know any YouTubers... Um, I used to just follow a ton of tech YouTubers, and now they're all chuds. They're all far-right chuds. Um, they're all pieces of shit libertarian motherfuckers. Um, you know what I mean? I'm going to show you guys a meme warning. Uh, oh, wait, no. Did I lose it? It doesn't have to be political either. Yeah, it could be uh, informative tech lifestyle. Yeah, it could be just something fun. What kind of content am I looking for? Something funny. Either funny, interesting... You know what I mean? Or just something that's nice to have on in the background while we while we hang out. Oh, now it's raining. Okay. I'm going to share this meme. I'm going to share this meme, guys. This has a PDF file mention. This meme has a PDF file mention. This is about white libertarians. <laughs> this is about white libertarians. Bam! White libertarians. Anarchism, which like, 
white libertarian anarchism is not good because obviously um, it gets rid of all protections for uh, any of the most vulnerable groups in society. If we were in a natural state and people didn't have any biases or ego, like, yes, white libertarian anarchism would be what they think it is. But no, they, just, they don't understand uh, material conditions at all. And then a white supremacist pe PDF file, which is where they usually end up. It's where I think these guys usually end up. <laughs> I saw this shit, bro. I was like, God damn. I was like, God damn, bro. It's too, it's too true. It's too true. It's too true. Oh, man. It's too true. Okay. <clears throat> Libertarians are cute. Keith Herring. Oh, shit. I would watch that. I would watch that. Here, let me put that in the tab. Put you right here and save you for later. All right, here we go. CSU and potentially tons of other universities have been compromised due to uh, Klopp's attacks on the on clients on organizations using the move it mft or uh, nobody knows what that means file transfer utility okay um everything from edu or yeah edu level to social security numbers has been leaked it has been stolen. Everything from student and staff education levels to social security numbers has been stolen. Um, going back to 2021. And potentially earlier. And at least 2021. That's a better way to say this. Okay. Tweet quote. Time to skeet it. Time to skeet it, brother. How do I get in my place? Here we go. 